Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 199 of Report This Post, the podcast about bad posts and bad people. My name's Geiger, and that is Christian. I lied when I said Cookie Run was the worst topic. And we're your hosts with the posts. Every week, Christian, myself, or a listener select a different topic and then find horrible posts for your listening pleasure. And this week's topic, as chosen by a guy named Ralph, <laughs> is incest. A uh, horrific act to do that uh, Ralph decided would be a real hoot to hear talked about for a while. <laughs> to be fair, we did we didn't push back well uh, no. at all nah. on the topic. So Yeah, I mean there's some the good the thing about topics like that, it's real easy to find bad posts. So sure. we sort of have to weigh the disgust versus the ease of the job. So and in this case the <laughs> <laughs> the easiness uh, one pretty third. Now, why exactly did Ralph choose this topic? I uh, sent Ralph an email to ask him why he chose incest as a topic. And uh, he wrote back, because fuck you. Mm. That was his email. Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds about right. Well, Ralph may also be saying that to uh, siblings of his. <laughs> <laughs> because he's he's a, wants to have sex with them. But I'm not exactly sure... I would assume in some some capacity he does feel like that. Now, uh, when Ralph chose the topic, did he get to do it for free? No. No, what Ralph did is he went over to reportthispost.com, clicked on the button that says buy topic, put in his credit card information, and then wrote incest Mm -hmm. in the notes section. (laughs) Yes. Uh, Of that. Yeah. It's great to see that pop along. Slide across the desk. Yeah. Uh, he could have also done that by being a member of our Patreon page. Uh, head over there, patreon.com slash report this post. If you join at the mod level for just 10 bucks a month and you stay a patron for three months, you get to choose an episode topic. Or you can join the admin level at 25 a month and pick an episode after two months. Uh, that gets you... Not only do you get to do that, but you also get the full episode of this show every week, plus an additional bonus episode every goddamn week. Yeah, and if you join at the $25 level, you also get a drawing from me, Yeah, which for- I don't think we've actually talked about in a while. It has been a while since we uh, tried to do any sort of uh, responsible promotion of the show. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a few drawings over the years, but it, I think it's been a while, hasn't it? It has been. We haven't had any... Super fans, as we like to call them in a while. People that really like us. We haven't had any of those folks that uh, like us more than they like hey, money. Art imitates life. How about it, Yeah, folks, that's right? true. It's a great point. Uh, and in this economy? Hmm. <laughs> Couldn't even say economy, right? What the hell do I know? <laughs> no. uh, hey, you know what's interesting is that this is episode 199, Yeah. which means next week's episode is episode 200. <sighs> Boy, it sure is. Yeah, it really is, huh? <laughs> Two hundred episodes of this, but uh, not just—it's not just a, a special episode because it's a round number that we all recognize. We're also going to be doing it live on Zoom Thursday, July fourteenth at nine p.m. Eastern. Thursday, July fourteenth, nine p.m. Eastern. Zoom for patrons only is what's exciting about that. Uh, and then on Sunday, we'll release the episode uh, in its entirety for everyone. But if you want to join the live show, you'll have to join patreon.com slash report this post. Uh, and you'll be able to participate in some way. Mm. Still figuring that out. Maybe. But <laughs> we'll at least <laughs> notice you in the chat uh, trying to one-up our jokes and failing. And then <laughs> me commenting about that fact. <laughs> that is one of the better parts of the live shows. <laughs> Uh, and uh, another fun part of the uh, the main uh, Patreon full episode we do every single week, if you don't know if you're one of these free listeners, at the end of the show we also do a preview for next week's episode uh, where we have a, we announce the topic and then give a post that w- that's not going to be on the next week's show, just related to that topic. We're going to go ahead and give you guys a taste of that now. Plus, get you folks excited for the 200th episode live. And the topic of that one is what, Christian? Black Lives Matter. Oh, yeah. This is going to be a good one. Uh, And I can say that uh, this was another topic chosen by a listener named Kyle. 
Uh, and Kyle, congratulations. You, you get to have the big special episode topic um, because it's going to be a fun one. I think Black Lives Matter, of course, the terrorist organization <laughs> located in a, in a mansion in the... L.A. or something? Compton, sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Harlem, Compton, as it's called. Uh, yeah, so Black Lives Matter live. Uh, if you want to join the feed, I would say look for some Black Lives Matter related posts. And maybe you can be able to share it on the program with us. And that would be, that would sure be something, wouldn't it, folks? <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> they can't answer me back. I keep forgetting about They're that, yelling yeah. at their, their stereos in their cars saying, yeah. like, we can't wait. <laughs> their, their stereos, their boom boxes, especially for the Black Lives Matter. <laughs> okay. Save it for next week, would you? Uh, I'm just trying to delay the whole incest thing that okay. we have to do. Now, what exactly is incest, Christian? Boy, you, t- you know what? I just, I literally <laughs> just had it up. <laughs> All right, a second here. Well, it is the act. Oh, I just had. It. I have to type it into my browser again. Yeah. Sexual relations between people classed as being too closely related to marry each other. Oh. Also, the crime of having sexual intercourse with a parent, child, sibling, or grandchild. Mm. An odd definition. Don't like any of that. Yeah. No. So related too closely to get married. It's an odd way to frame that. That is very odd. I mean, I guess that uh, second cousins, that's not, is that not incest? Oh, I didn't, man, should just type incest into Google. Apparently there's a, uh, <laughs> over on uh, Amazon there for $14.94, you can buy a digital version of a movie called Accidental Incest. Mm. For Milton and Kendra, love is relative. Mm. Pretty good. Let's see that. 2014 okay great okay we've done we're beating around the bush too much here let's just get started on the show. Uh, yeah we might as well incest uh a big topic in porn pornography these days for some reason <laughs> whatever they do it, usually it's step siblings but that's true which which doesn't count you can marry those if you want a little less taboo this is from the subreddit our advice why do I keep having sexual incest dreams? My dignity is lost. <laughs> At this point, I'm about to cut off my own penis. And I'm not talking transgender. I keep having recurring incest dreams with the various members of my family. I'm a boy, by the way, and straight. But this was the final straw. This last one was with my own dad. I'm losing dignity typing this out, and I really want to kill myself. I'm a Christian boy, and if there's sex demons in my dreams, please, the least you can do is take form of a sexy woman at least. Help me. How do I get rid of the dream? Please pray for me. If you're not praying to God, please don't pray for me. It's really draining me. It's not like I touch myself or look at porn every day, but now I'm never going to look at sex. Porn is now the second thing I hate the most, and politics is now third. Please help. Hmm. I'm too embarrassed to see a therapist. I'm just going to pray to God. Jay Hunter replied, dude, you're not going to like hearing this, but prayer isn't the answer for your issues. Praying away the gay doesn't actually change a homosexual person. Oh. And the OP responded, what? I'm not gay. <laughs> These are only basic temptations. I'm going to try to make myself tired until masturbation seems pointless. Great. I think you figured it out. <laughs> if you keep yourself busy enough. You won't have time to think of your demons. I mean, isn't that basically that... <laughs> what how most gay guys dealt with it in the past? <laughs> they were just like, "I'm running a marathon." Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm going to the shape. soup kitchen, kitchen to to volunteer. I'm going shopping. Mm-hmm. I'm at the gym 18 hours a day. Well, you know, that's not just gay guys. It's just that's, anybody that has problems. Also, that... <laughs> bi guys, pan guys. <laughs> Demisexual guy, which I think just is just another way of being gay. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> and if you call if you call yourself demisexual, you're gay. That's just how it is. It's <laughs> or sapiosexual. Ugh. Now that's my kind of people. Yeah. So um, I like the uh, if you're not praying to God, just please don't pray for me. Like, okay. Well, who don't would even, you pray to anyway? Don't even waste my fucking time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, don't, yeah. don't tell Shiva that I'm fucking my dad in my dreams. I'm already embarrassed enough. Yeah. 
dear uh, Allah, this uh, epic redditor is uh, trying to <laughs> trying to fuck his dad. I'm praying to you for him. Inshallah. Well, speaking of Reddit, a few years ago, a gentleman posted this over there. Who can even blame Trump for having a hard on for Ivanka? Great. And they include a picture of Ivanka Trump on TV wearing a black dress, tons of cleavage. Well, here's a few cool folks who chimed in with their own thoughts about it. First guy said, her daddy has made sure his little slut of a daughter has all the experience in the world using her fuckholes to get her way. God damn. Okay. Uh, number two, I can't stand him, but he did pay for her body, so rightfully he gets to fuck it. <laughs> Man. <clears throat> and then the third guy said, going all out to fry men's brains into voting for POTUS. This sizzling cock piece should get blacked for race relations. So, <laughs> some good good discussion over there on yeah. Reddit. Now this was obviously a politics subreddit. Yeah, I'm sure. yeah, yeah. This was, uh, this was the uh, intellectual dark web subreddit, <laughs> which is a fun one to read. Sizzling cock piece. That's something you don't hear every single day, especially uh, when talking about someone's daughter and them having sex with them. But that's, uh, uh yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> lacked for race relations. <laughs> Like, Ivanka, you gotta go on TV. You gotta get blacked. He's gonna help. <laughs> Ivanka Trump on blacked raw to swing the vote. That's what was missing in the, the election. I, I do like the other guy's uh, logic. Well, he did pay for her body, so. Such a sick thing to by say. His, by American law, he <laughs> has the right to fuck her. By biblical and American law, he does, yeah. Yeah. Great. Boy, real stinkers on there. Mm-hmm. That was always a fun joke during that presidency. It was about oh, Ivanka. How much you want to? I haven't heard from Ivanka since the, that they left the, the the Oval Office. I don't know what the hell she's up to. Um, she back to making clothes? I don't know. Anybody, has anybody out there checked on Ivanka recently? Mm-hmm. She's forty now. Mm. Oh. Washed up. Bye bye. Oh man, that sucks. You search her name, Ivanka Trump, former senior advisor to the President of the United States, is what her little sub thing. Is. She earned a great title. Uh, and uh, it looks like she's selling shoes. That sounds right. Cool. Cool. Well, good for her and her hot, tight twat. Mm. This next one's from Cora. I found my husband and our 19-year-old having sex. What should I do? Mm. Don't Bad. like to hear that. Hey, here's some answers. If I was married, if I had children, and I've ever came home from work and I found my wife having sex with one of our offspring who was of age of consent, I would take off all of my clothes and sit and watch and wait until they were done so I could join in. So who do anything other than just talk to them and say you want to play too? I got 18 upvotes. Great. Next one here. Did your husband force himself on your daughter? Was this out of their own free will? How was your reaction to this? If your husband had tried to force himself on her, you need to inform the cops. If this was done at their own free will and you're okay with it, join them and have a threesome. 19 upvotes. Uh-huh. And join them and have threesome sex. That one got 21 upvotes. <laughs> That one just cut right to the chase. Yes. Don't even bother with all this other nonsense. No, just no way. fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. First guy said he would wait till they're done and then join them, which seems like poor planning. Kind of like an extra step. Like I'm gonna sit over here and uh, jerk off and watching my fam- my close family members have sex. Watching my mom and my son fuck each other just casually sitting on the uh, the fainting couch. <laughs> the telephone bench (laughs) sitting on the radiator kind of shifting around a bit because it's you know it's not a great seat but it's the best view for sure Uh, boy now we'll get back to the post in a second but first this episode of report this post is brought to you by manscaped the best in men's below the waist grooming and this month manscaped would like to introduce you to their best and biggest ultimate hygiene bundle yet the platinum package 4.0 
Manscaped has been known as a leader in below-the-waist grooming. Now trust them with the whole shebang. Join the 4 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping using promo code REPORT20. Manscaped's brand new Platinum Package 4.0 is the biggest bundle they've ever offered, giving you a bulk discount on Manscaped's top products. Inside this Platinum Package, you'll find their Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, Ultra Premium Body Wash, Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo Plus Conditioner, Ultra Premium Deodorant, Crop, crop Reserver Anti-Shafing Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Ball Spray Toner Anti-Shafing Boxers, and the Shed Travel Bag to hold your goods while traveling. Now, we've been using Manscaped products over here for a few months, and for me, it's changed my grooming routine entirely. And hey, with the Platinum Package 4.0, you can now completely upgrade your shower routine as well with the Ultra Premium Body Wash and Ultra Premium 2-in-1 Shampoo Plus Conditioner. You'll have your skin and hair feeling hydrated and smelling fresh. Now, both the Lawnmower 4.0 Body Trimmer and Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer feature proprietary advanced skin-safe technology to protect your delicate parts and holes. Both are waterproof, so you can shave with less mess. And hey, speaking of less mess, their Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver Ball Toner will keep your boys tight and dry. Once they touch your sack, you'll never go back. Unzip your pants and see Platinum. Get 20% off and free shipping using promo code REPORT20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using promo code REPORT20. That's Report 20. It's time you enjoyed the finer things in life, so why don't you get a platinum package for your platinum package with Manscaped? What? <laughs> First of all, here's the real the real kicker for me. Uh, you come home, you see that, your first thought is to, I'm going to go to Cora, the website full of deeply insane people, yeah. and ask their advice. Like, mm-hmm. I, even going to Reddit would be a step above going to Cora. You should really be changing your life when that happens. You're not you're like, well, I got to go log on to Quora, see what's going on. You need to be adjusting everything from here on out. It's not. <laughs> There's a hole in the boat and the water's coming in. You really. Something's got to change immediately. And first thing to change should be your internet perusal habits immediately. Your casual social media use. Uh, but people love that Quora. It's addictive, apparently. I guess uh, it's been good to the show. That's true. So keep at it, folks. <laughs> User Mimosic started a thread titled Stories Involving Family Members over on the website ticklingforum.com. Oh, boy. I know this is a bit of a taboo, but hear me out. I really like reading stories involving family members, even though I am not in the least bit attracted to any of my own family members, so I hope this makes me a bit less of a creep. Do any of you know some good stories like this? I would graciously appreciate it if you could post them in the comments. Thanks in advance. User Chicago said, Hell motherfucking nah, because this is an adult tickle fetish site, not an adult incest fetish site. Hard line there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, but user Frostbite had this to say. As someone who has written incest, tickle, slash foot fetish stories on here, I don't think it's any more taboo than the forced sexual assault and rape in like 95% of the stories here. I don't get off on my family members, but I enjoy the shifting of power dynamics in a story in general, and that's what I've written. It's not everyone's jam, and that is okay, but sometimes it's just a story and nothing to shame anyone about. <laughs> yeah. Man, there's no reason to shame anyone for their incest foot tickling fetish because we're all we're all friends here right so <laughs> yeah what one, one guy being like whoa a bridge too far the other guy being like hey hold on a sec look i will say like is it so if, if the story is just you tickling your sister's feet that seems more just weird than sex i mean it's certainly sure people are jerking off to it i guess but sure if that were the case, that that's just what the story is. But I'm going to yeah, guarantee that 98% of those stories start with, you know. Yeah, she's probably Barney, sucking them dry afterwards. Barney was tickling Baby Bop's feet and ends with <laughs> just getting blown out. So, yeah. yeah, I guess you're right. But maybe that's the maybe that's the ticket. Just do stories where a guy's just tickling a, his mom. And then that's it. 
<laughs> just find, you find the niche. You find the niche of the the boy. I w- it's non alcoholic beer is what it is. Boy, I wish I could tickle my mom. Huh? <laughs> well, growing up, doesn't every boy just have that dream? Of just you know, uh, I, I wish I could just tickle my mommy. Yeah, that's an odd variation on the Oedipus Complex. I gotta <laughs> Standing at the cask, I wish I could tickle my mom one more time. <laughs> Just reaching in. <laughs> she's not Could laughing. She, she's, <laughs> she's, she's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so, that's the last thing you want to hear at a funeral. <laughs> is coochie, coochie, coo. Hey, back to core for a minute. Someone sure. went over there to ask, is it okay for girls to be seen naked by their brother? Okay. Guy named Roger Mann, a self-described family philosopher who studied at the School of Hard Knocks. Hell yeah. And whose bio simply states, remarried. Uh-huh. Answered. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Yes, dear, it is quite okay. Oh, there is nothing wrong at all with that, as nature has made both boys and girls naturally curious about the opposite sex. Sure. Offer to show him your naked body if he will show you his <laughs> naked body. From there, once you are both naked as you talk to each other, you can both fully explore each other's bodies without any problem. As it appears, this would be your first time seeing him fully naked. You may see his cock, as boys call them, get hard and stiff and erect. This is natural and is nothing to worry about. Similarly, he is, may have never seen a girl's tits or pussy before. <laughs> Do not be afraid to touch and feel each other in various places. Talk to each other about what you see and feel and be honest in what you say. This way, you can learn about and respect each other's differences. Mm-hmm. Whenever you are playing sexually with a boy, your brother or anyone else, it must be consensual, never forced. Well, that's nice. Great. Thanks for that answer over there, Roger. I looked more into uh, Roger and some of his answers over there on Cora. Mm-hmm. And the dude's just a straight up pervert. Just, just a <laughs> complete freak, huh? Just a nasty Well, that's what you expect from a uh, family philosopher? Yeah, I was going to, like, is. you know, pull a couple more as, like, you could say, but they're all just this over and over again. So. Yeah. Fam- family philosopher. I've never heard of that. I don't think that exists gonna guess it's a made-up horse shit couldn't be wrong i think it's a way for this guy to become an expert uh to tell people uh that they can uh do whatever they want yeah one of the questions he recently answered it was uh, <laughs> i am 15 what should i do with all my three brothers ask me for a foursome oh did you see his aunt? do you <laughs> I, I really don't it's it's just you shouldn't Wow, that's so long. That's um, such a long answer. Oh, and he has steps in it. No, that's not good. Yeah, his final advice, just stick to singles and threesomes until such time as you feel you can adapt to forces. <laughs> you know what? Okay. He's saying be smart about it. He's uh, telling this 15-year-old girl how she should fuck. My 12-year-old son says he wants to see my boobs. My 9-year-old son asks if he can touch my breasts. Yeah. He de- the guy the guy is on a... I do like the most recent question he answered. I was at a bar and a random person asked to suck on my tits. I let him and now I've let three other guys do it. What should I do? <laughs> hey, I've been letting guys just suck on my tits and I'm kind of at a loss at like, do I keep doing this? Is this something? Good God. What do you think of having a baby with your sister? Has any father made a daughter pregnant? Have you ever tried breast milk when having sex? (laughs) Do Indian women like to breastfeed others' baby? Hmm. Uh, Is it safe to let my wife have sex with my friend? My mom is having sex with my friend. My girlfriend's mom walks around their home in lingerie. And every single one of these are like, yeah, just keep doing that. Yeah, no, or it's 100%. You should do that. Yeah, you <laughs> actually do more of that. Is 4.5 inches impressive for a 12 year old? Yes, of course. Okay, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> let's, get, let's, to, let's get back to the incest at hand here, please. Uh, I can see he's got his, his family philosophy is. Uh, Kind of pretty one-track mind, I gotta say. 
Speaking of, speaking of getting to the to the hand here, this is from Reddit on the subreddit R off my chest. I jerk off to my mom and sister. I'm 20 and have never gone as far as stealing their panties or something like that. <laughs> Thank God. But I love moaning their names, jerking off, thinking about fucking their pussies and tight assholes. I don't need slutty pics, just their faces do it for me. I'm such a pervert, I have a huge fantasy of losing my virginity with my mother, but of course it will never happen. She's quite conservative and would think I'm disgusting for having such thoughts. I've lost count how many times I've jizzed moaning mommy. Now, I know that that's a, a, a subreddit made to post stuff. Sure that is. You normally wouldn't say out loud, but you also don't have to post this You stuff. don't really have to. You could just go about your day and uh, moan. <laughs> moan mommy. Moan mommy. Moan ejaculating. Yeah. 20 years old, virgin. Yeah. Things are things are not going so well for that fella. Oh, they're not? You're, you're, <laughs> you don't I'm, think that's going? <laughs> I am making a judgment call right here. So to you, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that is suspicious behavior. Yeah. Good luck uh, cracking your mom and or sister's uh, tight <laughs> assholes. <laughs> Uh, they're pussies and tight assholes. Yes, so gotta make sure. Not and this guy's a little greedy. He doesn't want one or the other. He wants them both. He wants all four holes. The man. I mean, he's got some pent up energy going on there. He's twenty years old. He desperately needs to nut. Uh, inside inside of a lady (laughs) that's not related to him. (laughs) Yeah, the genetic material should be a little bit further distance. I think. Yeah. Cool. All right, we're going to stop right here because we're going to finish the rest of this episode over on patreon.com slash report this post. That's right. If you enjoyed this first 20-ish to 30-ish minutes of the episode, you'll be happy to know that there's about an hour extra of this one over there uh, on patreon.com slash report this post. Head over there. And all you got to do is subscribe for five bucks a month. You'll get every single full episode with dozens of more posts a month, plus an additional bonus episode every single week. Unbelievable. This is literally millions of posts that we read on the air uh, every single month, possibly billions. I have not counted. In fact, I can't count. I'm actually illiterate as well. But irregardless, patreon.com slash report this post, and we'll see you over there, and God bless.